Hello everyone, Alvin from Alvin S. Wong Music here again with another video. Today I thought I'd share with you a quick tip on how to quickly time stretch or time compress your MIDI notes so you're not left with having to manually shift notes around or delete blank spaces in Cubase. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so where I often find myself running into this and probably you as well is when I want to change a chord progression from being one chord per bar to one chord per two bars or vice versa the other way i.e slowing it down or if you wanted to speed things up so let me show you two different methods of how you can do this okay here we are in cubase and i have some example um, clips here for us to play around with uh, let me just close that out and just highlight this particular clip here. So as you can see, if I expand it out, we have a four chords and each of them are within a single bar. So let's say we have a situation where we wanted to expand the each chord into two bars instead of just being one bar. There's a very simple and quick way if you have everything all within this clip nicely like this. And it's exactly where what you want to expand. What we can do is go up here into the object selection and change it to sizing applies time stretch. And this does exactly what you imagine. So it'll increase it. Let's say if I go from four to eight here. And if we look deeper, you'll notice that indeed we have turned that chord into um, spanning over two bars for each of them so it's nicely uh, pulled it out the other thing you'll notice here is if you look at the automation information it's also nicely expanded it out for you so you don't have to manually do that as well so that's the benefit of using the time stretch from the object selection side of things. The other method, which uh, I'll show you here, let me just move this all back to what it was. The other method is to use MIDI logical presets. And um, there's a, within the standard set, there is the ability to say double tempo or half tempo. So in this case, if we wanted to stretch things out, we want half tempo and it will literally do the same thing except your clip you would manually need to expand it out further to reveal all the notes that it has expanded and the expression data and modulation or whatever um, automation that you might have within that clip so there you go it we got to the same place uh, using that as well and that function so let me drag this all the way back here so that's, uh, in a nutshell, the way to quickly expand or shrink your MIDI notes. Now, you might be asking, let's say I wanted to uh, manipulate a part of a clip only. Let's say I have this harp glissando, glissando lines here. If I expanded this, for example, I'll just play this quickly here. Okay, so that is maybe a little too slow for my liking. So what you could do is you could just say, I only want this first chord's um, gliss here, or within this first bar. I want that to be a little bit faster. I want that to be uh, half of that time. So once again, you can use the logical preset here of double tempo. And you haven't affected everything else. You have just isolated and chosen those notes. So that works really great in that you don't have to manually convert them all to 16th notes, uh, which is what I used to do before finding this, these features here. And then having to move all these uh, individual notes so there's, it doesn't leave a, a gap in between all of them if I wanted to shrink it. And then if I changed my mind, that was a bit of a pain. So it was hard to, to move everything back besides, you know, doing a whole bunch of undos. So what we can do, let's say if I wanted to switch this back to, um, longer is to use the half tempo once again to expand it out just like we did earlier with the chords so again it's in standard set and half tempo there you go and we've got it back now let's say i want this to expand the entire length of that bar um, very easy same thing over and over again 
And the other thing you can do is set um, hotkeys to these logical preset functions. So any single one of these, if you go into the key commands, you can actually type in half tempo, for example, and you'll just find where it is within uh, the instruction set here. It's under process logical presets and then half tempo. And you can define your own uh, logical presets as well. And we'll maybe get into that in another video. It's super powerful. But this one is probably the most uh, handy and useful to start off with. And yeah, you can set up a, a, a hotkey command, I don't know, something like that and apply it. I'll just say yes here. So if I were to select, actually I'll select this here maybe I, and I'll do that hotkey and you'll see that it did in fact do it. Now this is one bug, I'm glad it did this, that Cubase has is that when it, sometimes when you apply that logical preset of half tempo and, and double tempo, it all of a sudden moves all your notes somewhere else along this key editor here, which you just saw. So that's a little odd. I don't know why. If you know, <laughs> please let me know in the comments below. Do this one more time. Yeah, you see how that moved it back left. So that's uh, kind of annoying sometimes, but all in all, highly valuable. Okay, so I hope uh, that helps. And I've just shown you just in summary, the ability to expand and contract the notes using the object selection sizing applies time stretch method and also using the MIDI logical presets standard set ones half tempo or double tempo method and uh, using the logical presets will be the one that you would probably want to use if you are trying to be more uh, surgical with the notes within a clip that you want to affect. Okay, well, there you have it. I hope that was very helpful for you. If you did find it useful, please uh, consider hitting the like button or subscribing or both. <laughs> it would be great. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.